long stretch, you're gonna have them bend forward. So sometimes this is pretty hard for people if they have a lot of pain. Uh, but you wanna make sure that people are bending forward and getting a flexion of their lumbar spine. I've had some people come in um, and they'll, they'll sort of lock their spine out and just kind of come down this way. You don't want that, you want actual rounding of the lumbar spine there. So when it comes, when it comes to the lumbar spine, <coughs> you wanna be probably around the PSIS area, a little below. Um, rule of thumb would be two inches below the area <coughs> of, of pain. So that, and that's what you'll kind of remember when you're up in the thoracic spine. <coughs> Here with low back pain, it's usually around the PSI, a little bit below the PSIS area. Okay, so this is gonna be 25% tension off. I'll lay down the anchors with no tension. Okay, go ahead and uh, you can just, yeah, take off your shirt if you're already here. You're okay with that. All right, and face the wall there. Okay. So you're gonna find PSI, where, where is your pain actually? Oh, uh, just in the one where actually both sides find the first one. Okay, right where your hand is there? Yeah. Where's the bottom of it? Uh, probably about a centimeter higher than that. Okay. So if we're going to say two inches below, we'll kind of be around here. All right. So I'm going to measure there to probably thoracic area. All right. I'll just put one strip on you so you guys can practice. <coughs> is one side worse than the other? <clears throat> no. No? Both the same? Yeah. All right. Any back injuries? No. Just started out of nowhere? Uh, yeah, just picking up the pace, trying to get in shape again. CrossFit? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing for a reason. He does Pilates. Oh. Pilates <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and yoga. Pilates and hey. yoga. It's even harder for you, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be about right here. For this, I'm gonna grab the tape. Okay, no anchor. No tension on the anchor. Okay, go ahead and bend forward and touch your toes. Round your back out. And as he's doing that, just gonna follow the paraspinals up. <laughs> Okay, come, come back up. <coughs> okay, let's see, but a lot of convolutions, right? That's good. That's very good. That's what you want. And you have such a, a much larger range of motion there for the lumbar spine. So if you see that, then you've done it the correct way. Okay. All right. So let's practice those two techniques. It'll take a little bit longer than the other ones, and then we'll come all back. <laughs>